As I enter the building at the plaza level, there she is, a portrait of elegance, dress of crimson, crowned with an exquisite strand of pearls, dark hair, stylish for the day, softly framing a classic face, a face with a slight smile and eyes that are kind, intelligent, and most important, welcoming. Nell Kendall Hodgson was born on October 20th, 1892 in Athens, Georgia. She was raised as a stout Baptist with five brothers and three sisters. She was my daddy's younger sister. There were nine children and they were next to each other in the nine, so they were extremely close. And she and my mother had grown up together in Athens and were best friends, so the three of them were just inseparable. After secondary schooling, Nell followed her passion and entered a nursing program at St. Mary's Hospital in Athens. She grew up in Athens, and she was over in Atlanta at a debutante party and met this rich guy from Atlanta. And my dad and the other brothers were not real sure they liked this wealthy guy and what was his intentions. She signed up for a pretty wild ride when she became Mrs. Robert W. Woodruff. They got married at a young age, and she was there from the beginning. Both of them came from prominent families. Her family was the first family of Athens, and his family was prominent in Atlanta, but they started off as struggling newlyweds, and he was a college dropout, which wasn't quite so unusual back then. He was a man of plans always from the very start when they finally decided that it was all right for her to marry Bob Woodruff. Then that's the way it went, and Nana and Daddy and my mother were so close, and Uncle Bob came in, and, and he was the fourth. While Nell had to set aside her professional aspirations to be a nurse to marry Robert Woodruff, her dream and her passion and her commitment in the nursing profession never faded. When the United States entered World War I in 1917, Nell began volunteering as a nurse's aide with the Red Cross. Then, in 1923, Robert Woodruff was elected to the board of directors as president of the Coca-Cola Company. I always felt very special when I was around her. My grandmother, Nell Woodruff's sister-in-law, told me to remember that behind every powerful man there was a better woman. And my Nana lived that. She was utterly devoted to Uncle Bob, but expressed her own worth by doing her thing to brighten her corner in the world. She did that with so much grace that she's become her own historical icon. In 1932, Nell began volunteering at Emory University Hospital in the maternity ward. She later volunteered again during World War II, and because of her devotion and dedication to nursing, she was given permission to serve as a nurse's aide in any military hospital in the United States. She served as a Red Cross nurse's aide under two world wars. And not only did she serve, but she recruited many of her family and friends to join the efforts with her. At this time, it served a huge void as there was an urgent nursing shortage. She also aided in the delivery of almost 30 of her family births. She came over to Bowen Me on the 4th of July in 1926. She brought me in to Mother, laid me in Mother's arms. We were all born at home back in those days. She got me cleaned up and she said, well, here's your little Lydia, which was my mother. She said, no, this is your little Nell. Literally from the time I was born, I had two sets of parents. <laughs> I nominated her because she was a real role model to me from a very early age. I was the flower on her hallowed delivery tree because my mother was pregnant at the time. Nell Woodruff became the first female member of the Emory Hospital Administration Committee. She was named an honorary member of the Emory Nurses Alumni Association in 1946. Her citation of membership honors her for her meritorious service as a volunteer nurse at Emory and other hospitals before, during, and since the war years. Nell Hudson Woodruff had a really strong influence in developing our School of Nursing here at Emory into the nationally recognized institution that it is today. The Nell Hudson Woodruff School of Nursing is one of several schools at Emory University that are part of the Woodruff Health Sciences Center. Robert Woodruff had no higher priority than medical care and education and had a hand in building 
what would later become the Emory Clinic. It was her personality. She was born with the love of nursing, and she wanted me to be a nurse so bad. And I said, Nana, I can't. She was involved in nursing when many people looked upon it as being dirty and beneath individuals. But she looked past that, where many of her friends were probably volunteering in a much more social environment. She got dirty, and she lived out her passion. As a member of the Emory Hospital Administration Committee, Nell was able to deliver her dream of creating the Emory School of Nursing. In 1967, the Emory University Board of Trustees renamed the Emory School of Nursing the Nell Hodgson Woodruff School of Nursing. In 1968, Nell was present at the groundbreaking of the new building, which would house her nursing school. That was the last time I saw her. That was a week before she died. And after that groundbreaking, we went to a beautiful luncheon that the trustees gave her. And I thanked them for naming the school that day for her. I said, thank you for doing this while she's alive and that she will know that the nursing school, because this has been our heart always and thank you for making her dream come true. I remember her when she put that spade down to get the dirt for the building over near the hospital. And she looked at that spade a few minutes and she just smiled as she lifted that dirt out. She was so happy to be doing that. But her hands-on care, she always wanted to be a nurse. So I think that she has left the state of Georgia and the nursing profession around the world in better shape. So we're grateful to her. It was like a power that came into the room. When she came in, it was just everybody looked her way. She was beautiful inside and outside. She made everybody feel comfortable, no matter where she was. In the heart of dear old the School of Nursing at Emory has been in existence for 110 years. Of course, it didn't start at Emory University. It started as a hospital-based program, as most schools of nursing were at that period of time. But it evolved into a collegiate-based nursing program. And Nell Hudson Woodruff was able, in the mid-20th century, to put a significant stamp on what the School of Nursing has become. So it is evident that her legacy continues on in the life of our school, they continue to carry the torch that she sparked in leadership, in scholarship, and social responsibility as they go out and transform health and health care, and they serve the global community in her honor. I'm certain that Robert Woodruff would be very pleased that his wife's being honored for her influence on him, yes, her support, the role that she played in the success of the Coca-Cola Company and all of the famous generosity that came from the Woodruffs. But she was such a special lady and deserved to be honored more than anybody I know. I just thank you all for honoring her this way. I, I just think this is just magnificent. Mm -hmm.